Good morning, team, and happy Thursday. Actually, happy Friday Eve. There you go. Now we're talking. Wanted to chat with you about a few things um, this morning in our morning minutes related to MLS. With MLS, you have quite a few services that are available to you, and I think sometimes, especially right now, it would be a good time to update ourselves and maybe make sure that we're up to speed not only on what services we have available, but that we look good in all the right places. So first thing I want to chat with you about is please, if you get a chance, get out there and see the video that was put together on uh, waiver of entry versus coming soon, just so you have a better understanding of how those work. And then within MLS, your real MLS.com, wanted to share with you a few things that I think can make a difference in how you do your business. You want to make sure that you get set up in a few of these different resources, these applications that are available to you. Uh, so that you can have a good experience with not only MLS, but that your customers have all the right resources. So if you haven't had a chance recently to take a look at all of the different resources that are available to you through MLS, here's a list. And we're not going to go through every single one because this is just a morning minutes, right? So, But I wanted to point out a few that I think are really pivotal in working your business and how you work your business. First one is the MMT, MMT tax data. So the tax data is available through most of the county websites, but it's so easily and efficiently organized here. You can pull mailing lists, you can pull non-owner occupied properties, you can find out a little bit about the property that you're going to interview for on a listing. It's a great resource. You can even pull Les Pendants filings if you think that's going to be something that's going to be coming up or more relevant in our market or it's something you have expertise in. MMT Tax is a wonderful resource to get uh, addresses for customers, potential customers. So take a look at MMT tax. The next thing I wanted to bring up was MLS Advantage. This is our statewide MLS. Now we do share data with quite a few other MLS resources around the state, but the MLS Advantage is your statewide MLS. So you can help a customer find not only a realtor, but properties in areas throughout the state. Do you want to list in areas throughout the state? I don't know. That's up to you. It may not be the best service to your seller, but it is a great way to work with your buyers and find the right agent for them in the area that they may be, may be moving to. So your service expands beyond just our Jacksonville metro area. Use relocation if you have someone who's moving outside of the area to make sure you cover yourself. Third thing I wanted to mention is HomeSnap Pro. This is an app. This is an application that your customers can get on their phones. It helps them stay connected to you. You can invite them into an account that they can set up. They can draw their own areas. They can look at properties that are available. They can get background information. And whenever they have a question, that information comes straight to you. If you haven't had a chance to see HomeSnap Pro, please get in and take a look at that. Make sure you set yourself up in that. It also has access when you have a listing to advertise or boost your property through Google and Instagram. Take a look at it. I think you're really going to be impressed with it. Make sure you're at least set up on there. You can also research associates that are going to show your properties, see what kind of business they've done. So a little, um, not Facebook stalking, but HomeSnap Pro stalking when you have showings. If you haven't been into to showing time in a little while, I think it's a good idea to go in and see the new features in showing time. Again, this is how you connect with uh, realtors who want to show your listings. Great way to set your listings up here so that you can get showings easily and effectively. And you can also engage your customers through your sellers, your seller customers through showing time so that they see what's going on. When people are requesting appointments, they can help you confirm those appointments and then they can be prepared for those showings, virtual or otherwise. RPR. If you haven't been into RPR in a while, please take a minute to get into RPR. This is a great wraparound for your uh, market analysis. So you want to take a look at RPR, check out the reports in RPR. There are buyer reports, seller reports. You can get an estimate of the value of an improvement, how that's going to impact the pricing on a property. Fantastic way when you're talking to a seller about what they've done to the home and the value that that may have added as long as it is not just bringing that home up to market standards. And then of course, my condo plans, really underutilized element of MLS. If you want to know anything about a condo building, my condo plans are a great resource. You can research a condo building. You can even see the floor plans for each of the units in that building. 
great way, great time saver when you have a customer that's looking at condos. You can lay out different floor plans for different buildings and it maybe saves you a little bit of time going from building to building. Last one I wanted to mention was Rate My Agent. In our social media world, it becomes important to understand how people are viewing you and also to get your reviews out there. If you haven't already signed up for the Testify session that's happening tomorrow, one at 10 a.m. and one at 2 p.m. with Kim Knapp, really highly recommend you do that. It's available to sign up through Sign Up Genius. It's going to be a great session, but one of the things she'll mention is Rate My Agent. It's a fantastic way to get reviews and manage those reviews. So these are a few of the things that I think you should be aware of in MLS. Take time to get to know your MLS. It is a fantastic resource for you. Spend a little time during your prospecting time, making sure that your profiles are up to date. And I'm going to challenge you as always. One, I'm going to challenge you to pull one buyer report and one seller report from RPR. Take a look at it. See what information is in there. Play with it a little bit. Learn how you might be able to use it not only with your buyers, but your sellers, and to give you background information. And then the second thing I'm going to ask you to do is to go ahead and set up your profile in Rate My Agent. That'll be a great place to get started with things so that uh, when you have that session tomorrow with Kim, you're all set, ready to go, and it doesn't sound foreign. It sounds familiar. Take care. I hope you have a great day. Happy Thursday.